Hey friends and subscribers, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Daniel Rosal here, let me do a quick video today on the uh, Brother QL700 label printer and how to change the tape. So let's say you're printing on one kind of label, 29 millimeter, and you decide you need to print on wide labels and you don't want to obviously just kind of throw out all of the remaining tape on one. So here's the, here's the kind of hack for want of a better word. So what I do firstly is just take out the tape that we are uh, going to be retaining for later and just using my hands, I just kind of spool it as tightly as I can. You don't need to be perfect about this, but just, you know, don't get some kind of, there we go. And then you want to use the smallest piece of cellar tape that you can and just hold it in place. Now, Here's the risk, if you will, uh, this side, the, the non-printing side, you don't really want to have adhesive there just in case as it goes through um, the feed, it leaves a bit behind and that can cause a paper jam. So uh, what I do is after I take it off, I just kind of run my finger over it to make sure there's really, you know, no sticky bits. And if there are, just to get them off. So keep this for later. You can go back to using it. And I'm going to put in now the uh, DK2205, uh, which I saved from earlier. Again, I use my sellotape method. I believe the Americans call it scotch tape. Putting it into the brother. And now I just need to do this is always the kind of tricky part, getting this to feed through some. There we go. That was easy. Sometimes it gets a little bit trickier and that's it. So you can just keep your old tapes with a little bit of sellotape. And when you want to swap back, just put the new one in sellotape. You want to do this when you uh, when you start a new reel, just kind of cut off the top and that is how to swap it out.